All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So, of course, Jack is in Arc 5, and he is in Red Dragon Arc just getting a whole bunch of more cards. It seems like every single time we turn around, it's just like, oh, look, new Red Dragon, hot Red Dragon, jeweled red, scar red, dragon, like, dra dragon, 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 red, 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 like, <sighs> so once again, we have another card, and this definitely seems like the strongest out of all, and this seems like the end all be all of the Red Dragon. So we're going to go ahead and look at this card, determine whether it is worth summoning and how good it is. So this is Hot Red Dragon Archfiend King Calamity. Yes, King. It sounds like it should be like Red Dragon Archfiend King of Calamity, but I don't know. I don't know. The Japanese translation is Jewel Demon Dragon King Red Demon Calamity. So um, just a, a, all the powerful words all in one freaking title. So is in clear see of the power. It is a Dark Dragon Synchro Effect Monster. Level 12. Yes, people. Level 12. 4,000 attack. 3,500 defense. Materials are a little bit interesting, though. It's two tuners plus one non-tuner Dark Dragon type Synchro Monster. So, two tuners who, of course, will uh, add up to four, generally, because, you know, with the one non-tuner Dark Dragon type Synchro Monster, they're only going to be a level 8. You know, unless you want to use Black Rose or uh, some other, <laughs> so that Samsire or whatever. Uh, but generally, it's going to be, they're hoping that you go ahead and use, you know, Red Dragon Archfiend or Hot Red or Scarred Right or Beals or <laughs> Void Ogre. Or, there's, a, there's a ton of uh, non-tuner Dark Dragon type Synchro Monsters, but uh, one of them. And two tuners, yes, two tuners. It takes two tuners to make this. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of them resonators. You know, some of them are three, some of them are one. So I'm assuming that they want you to go, you know, scar right with one of the level three tuners and a level one tuner. Go ahead and think of this. So how, it's got to be powerful if you need two tuners to go ahead and handle it. You know, like the animation, it's like the tuners make like the circles that the non-tuner goes through. So you need two tuners. You need two of them circles to go, like, I, I hope that he, he, Jack summons this in the anime just so I can see how this card is synchro summoned. Because two tuners? Sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. But let's look at this card's effect. It's already 4,000. It's already the power, level 12. But, you know, it, it, we're starting to get into that Quasar department. So, you, are you Quasar level? Of course, Quasar is a little bit harder to summon, of course. You need, like, a non tuner You need a one tuner synchro monster and two or more non tuner synchro monsters. So, it's a little bit more difficult. This one's not that bad. Like, you know, I could probably pull this off and supervise. I need to run two tinkers, though. But, you know, if I have, like, a Beals on the field, you know, I can just be like, alright, you know, Doom Shaman, summon Tinker, you know, and then, like, Limit Reverse and summon another Tinker, I can go into this, you know, the Beals and the two Tinkers. Anyway, enough babbling. Let's get on to this effect. So, when this card is Synchro Summoned, you can activate this, this effect. Alright. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects on the field for the rest of this turn. Nope. So, you're going to activate that Trap. Nope. You're going to activate that, uh, that monster effect. Nope. 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 But it, keep in mind, it says on the field for the rest of the turn, so it totally means that, uh, you know, things that, that resolve in the graveyard still resolve in the graveyard, so there you go. But, you know, your opponent cannot activate card effects on the field for the rest of the turn. Yeah, that is power. Uh, of course, this does not negate continuous effects, so, you know, hypothetically speaking, since some of you will not sure, let's go ahead and talk as if, you know, my opponent summons this on me and I have you bound. Uh, you know, I cannot activate card effects on the field for the rest of the turn. Yes. So you go ahead and attack me by you, you know, on your belt. You belt effect to go ahead and make you take the damage. I can activate that. But continuous effects that don't activate would still resolve. So, oh, well, not resolve, but just they're continuous, so they're not negated. So, uh, your belt wouldn't be destroyed by battle, and I would not take any damage. But the effect to make you take the damage for attacking me would not go off. I could not activate that effect. So, there you go. It's kind of give you a general idea. And your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this card's activate, this effect's activation. So, if you think that you're going to go ahead and uh, try to chain something to negate it, like, no, you, you can't. You know, the power. It's supposed to be four. No. Get off. So, I'm going to drop this thing. I'm going to activate the effect. So, you cannot activate card effects for the rest of the turn on the field. And you can't do anything about it. Just get wrecked. <laughs> Just get wrecked. So, uh, that's not all. That's not all. That's just the first effect. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, it's like damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster's original attack. So, you know, it depends on what you're crushing. That, that's a nice chunk of damage, you know. It's like with Ubel, you know, Ultimate Nightmare throwing your attack right back in your face. This guy does the same thing. So, not only is he going to crush you with his 4,000 attack, but then whatever your attack is, you're taking that. So, the power. Not bad. Not bad. But that's not it. He has another effect. This card, in its owner's possession, is destroyed 
by your opponent, either by battle or by card effect. And keep in mind, possession. So it's not even you control. Possession is destroyed. So literally, even if you go ahead and summon this guy and your opponent goes solemn warning, you would still get this effect because it's still your owner's possession. is destroyed by your opponent, either by battle or by card effect. You can target one, level eight or lower, dragon, dark dragon type synchro monster in your graveyard, special summon that target. So, of course, the monster that was used to go ahead and synchro summon this gets to return the field. This card is destroyed by battle or by card effect. I'm not sure who the hell is destroying you by battle. You're freaking 4,000, but I can definitely see you, you know, you getting destroyed by card effect, you know, eventually, you know. You summon this, you use your effect, your opponent can't keep activating cards on the field. Because like I said, this turn, you attack, you kill, yeah. Then your opponent's like, alright, Regeki. Like, oh, no, you destroyed my big old dragon that I spent all this time summoning. Oh, effect. I'm going to go ahead and summon that dark dragon type synchro monster that I just used to synchro summon this right back to the field. So, uh, it's not even like you're really losing things. So, there's, there's really no loss when it comes to this card. It's, it's just go ahead to good. If you can go ahead and bust this out on top of your, your, um, Dark Dragon type Synchro Monster and go ahead because when this guy's destroyed by battle by card effect, you're gonna get him right back. So that's pretty good. Uh, I wish I would have said it if this card is like removed from the field. That would have been nice because you know you're generally probably probably gonna get you know cast out. Although if you if you got one on one, you'd still be screwed anyway. So so, but it's cool that I said the owner's possession. So even if you get Solemn Morning or you know Black Horn of Heaven, you still get your effect and go ahead and summon your uh, your Dark Dragon type Synchro Monster. Take a drink every time I said Dark. Dragon type synchro monster in this video. All right back, you know, so go ahead and get your bills back or your scar right or your Red dragon arch fiend or your hot red or your oh, there's so many there's so many uh, Your dark end dragon or your void ogre dragon. I'm, I'm not, not looking at anything I'm just naming them off the top of my head. Yeah, and it says level 8 or lower so I'm in your black rose dragon if you want to Is there any of the samusire dragon? I think I don't know. I probably feel like I'm missing one more or something, but I think I got a good chunk of them. But yeah, definitely, uh, this card's really good. The power, you know, no complaints, no complaints. So like I said, I really hope that Jack summons this, and yeah, get ready, <laughs> get ready, because your opponent drops this on, you're getting it, you're getting it. You can't activate that mirror force, that phoenix hand, that compulsive, you can't touch him, he's gonna, he's gonna kill your monster. Your monster's gonna die, so prepare. So tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card, card Review. So once again, Card Review, once per week, only on Mondays. So I will come back next Monday and look at another card to look at. That sentence came out really weird. I will have another card to look at. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And yeah, see you guys next Monday. Thanks for watching.